folks, Amy from Colorado Mountain Living. Anybody know what this is? Big piece of machinery equipment. Um, it's actually, you probably already know, it's a tile cutter. And Brian is getting to work on a project for the vanity bathroom area, cutting stones, cutting, we have a lot of tile to cut. So this is gonna come in really handy. And uh, it's, you know, I was thinking when he said tile cutter, it was like a little plug-in electric, uh, handheld machine that you just cut one tile at a time. But no, this one's a little bit more intense. It's got a diamond edge blade on it. It's got a water tray and it makes a lot of spray when you're cutting into it. So uh, it's for the big jobs and we got some big jobs to do. So I wanna show you guys what we got done over the weekend and uh, show you a before and after of our vanity area. All right. What you got? Yeah, a, Dave's tile saw. <laughs> Dave's tile saw. Yeah. Or Dave, our neighbor. neighbor who's helped us out in more ways than one. So. Looks like uh, Harbor Freight because it's a Chicago Electric. Okay. Yeah. And it's got water in it and it has something. So there's the blade. Yeah, yeah it's like a grinder blade, kind of. Uh, diamond. Diamond blade. Diamond blade yeah. And then there's like a tray of water. And then there's a pump inside. A tray of water with a pump in there. So Brian's figuring out how to operate the tile saw Oops. and getting to work on the vanity area. So this morning was all hardy board installation and a little bit of drywall down here because that's where the vanity level is going to be. And so all up here is where the stone is going to go. And then, uh, and, and then you carried in like all those boxes of yes. stone up the stairs. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Very handy. And look, I got all the wood done. I know, I captured that in the last video. Oh, okay. So, not too much of a glare off the window today. So, you can actually see the wood instead of just a big blob. Yeah. So, that all went in good. And get this thing figured out. Cutting some rock. Yep, and I'm painting away, so you've got well the lower stuff is done in the kitchen and everything. I'm gonna get a stepladder to get these higher areas and then I have to get the scaffolding to get up here. But anyway, paint, 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 paint. Aha! How's it going up? Pretty good. It took a little bit to get around the outlets. But. Uh, oh yeah, cutting those out. Blue. Cool. Now it's going faster. I just have to, once I cut, trim this one, then I can put that end piece over there. So mm -hmm. it goes pretty good. Mm -hmm. So shiny looking. I know. It's like, it looks like soapstone or something to me. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. That was regular mastic. Yeah. I don't have one of those ginormous trowels, so I'm just using a non thicker. I'm supposed to use like a half. Half inch. These things aren't very square. <laughs> you mean that the it's the, the joint piece. Mm -hmm. They're not super straight. Well, that's authentic, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just kind of screws up your design. <laughs> I gotta find one that's got a little bit of a bow in it. This is the worst one I've seen. Hmm. I 
a little bit of a square there. Cut a piece for that before it has like a little mesh on it. Yep. And then they're all I glued. One up and it broke right now. Yeah. They're all glued together. Is that? Because mm -hmm. you can still see through. It. Oh yeah. Huh. Interesting. I gotta cut a 45 degree angle on. See over here, that's where it's, I trimmed off that curved part, so there's extra space. Hmm. But here it's back to normal. So I'll have to fit it tighter in there than what I was doing before. I was, I was tucking it right now. So I'll put this one in first. Chamfer ends right there. Oh, that big uh, and the, the top piece of stone is like the thickest one on there. Oh, you got all your scrap rock over here too. Yeah, I could do that. Just cut two inch piece or mm. inch and seven eighths. Last piece. <laughs> Woo, nice. Oh, I see one more hole right next to that plug. Yeah, I got two with one on either side. Yeah. No, not really the last one. No. Woo, what a difference. Well, hey guys, this is how the vanity area turned out. So right now the rock is kind of like a very silvery color, like a light gray. And I'm going to put the sealant on it to darken it up. So we'll see how it transforms as I apply the, as I apply the sealant. I think it's going to really make, it's going to really bring out the, uh, the darker charcoal gray color. So I'm excited to see the finish on it. I know some folks suggested putting the sealant on before we put all the rock up, but Brian just went right ahead and <laughs> didn't want to slow down for that step. So uh, I'm going to use a, um, we picked up one of the um, applicators from the tile place. So I'm going to use that to put the sealant on and uh, see how it looks. So this is the product that we're using. It is 511 Sealant Enhance Sealant for Tile and Stone. It's all dusty because it's been up here and on all of the drywall. And just a basic cheap little foam applicator and it comes, you know, in the package like this and then you can use this as the tray. I'm gonna pour a little bit in here and then go to it. I think I'm gonna need a ladder too, a little step ladder to get up there. So you can just kind of dip it in here and then squeegee off the excess there. All right, let's see how it works. I think, I think a good technique is just dabbing it. Dabbing it on so you're not getting a lot of drips and everything. I can't see this foam applicator holding up very long. It seems kind of cheap, so I don't want to 
get it all roughed up with the stones and everything. Well, I have a long way to go, but I'll show you when, it, uh, when I get a good section done. It's going to take me a little while to, to get this all on. Um, but look how much darker it is already. So after I finish it up, I think you'll be able to see um, just how dark all the stones are. So it's only been a couple of minutes and I'm already getting uh, my foam sponge here all torn up. So um, I don't think using this on ledger stone is really practical. This is probably better for like a smooth surface tile. So I'm gonna actually ditch this and go find a brush to cut, get it over the surface because I just the surface is just too rough. And plus it's creating a lot of foamy bubbles. And I think uh, it's, that's just um, gonna make a mess if it dries like that. So it's just too much foam. So I wouldn't recommend this applicator for doing the ledger stone. I'm gonna find a brush. <laughs> Okay, got a paintbrush. So it's easier to be a lot more aggressive with a paintbrush, but you're still getting the foam buildup. I don't know if the foam's gonna be a problem, but um, yeah, it's way easier to get in all the cracks and I can catch the drips a lot faster, but I am getting that foamy buildup, but uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I can kind of clear it out of the way. But this stone is so irregular on the surface and there's so many grooves using a foam wimpy brush did not make any sense. So I'm gonna to go to town, guys, and we'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, I'm at the halfway point. So look at the difference. And up there, see how it's like light gray and dusty and look how bold and dark it is on the bottom of the, <laughs> it's very bold and dark on the bottom. So the foam that's being generated from the brush is dissipating and all the, uh, it's it's uh, going away as as the bubbles pop, so um, that's not a problem. But I'm able to really get into the cracks way better with the brush, so I'm glad that I decided to do that. I would have never gotten the job done with that foam applicator. <laughs> All right, a little bit more work, and then we'll look at the final product. And so here you have it, folks, the finished wall. Much darker, much less silvery than before. And was All right, one more piece that goes into place. Do We don't have it mounted yet. So these are the vanity lights and they're gonna go right here in the middle. Brian's gotta configure a mount for them because the mounting on the, lamp, on the lights themselves are out here. So without drilling into the stone, he's gonna uh, mount a piece of wood in the middle and then make a longer board and then we'll be mounting it right here. And that's what our finished vanity wall will look like. Well, there you have it, folks. So one project done, 87 more to go. <laughs> but it's nice when you can finish up something and like see that initial uh, complete look and just feel like you've accomplished so much. So we've got one more section of this. This is where the stove is gonna go in the sitting room over there. So that's one more section where we're gonna have this stone effect, the ledger stone. And um, we still uh, are working on constructing a vanity. So Brian's got the two by four right there estimating the height of the vanity. So we're looking into something like a barnwood vanity. We've priced some online, but they're really quite expensive. I think we can make one ourselves pretty, pretty at a fair price. So um, I've got a lot of painting to do still, so I'm going to get back to it, guys. Stick with us. We're going to get some more done this weekend, so we'll keep you updated and see you next time.